time travel. Now, I've looked at this before, but it's becoming increasingly more common where someone comes out claiming to be from the future and giving us loads of details of what's going to happen. Now, of course, none of their predictions ever come true, like none of them. So the question is, why are they still being watched and believed? Well, today we have a man from the year 3036 who has some chilling predictions. <laughs> Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Tin Fall Tuesday with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Before we begin today, a massive thank you to the sponsors of today's video, Blinkist. Now, does it ever happen to you that you really, really, really want to read a certain book, but you don't have anywhere near enough time to commit to it? Or do you ever want to be a better version of yourself, a more confident, knowledgeable you? Now that is where the Blinkist app comes in. Blinkist takes top non-fiction titles and puts them into 15-minute text and audio explainers called Blinks. And you can learn Blinks to learn about topics such as philosophy, history or science, or dive into psychology, health, nutrition or personal growth. The Blinkist app helps you to understand the most important things from over 5,500 non-fiction books and podcasts in only 15 minutes. Being educated and entertained at the same time is the main reason why I will always choose Blinkist. The audio experience in particular is top notch and much more than just a book summary. Recently I've been reading Other Minds, The Octopus and the Evolution of Intelligent Life. No flat earth is included you'll be glad to hear, but seriously the story of the octopus truly is a fascinating one. And this is brilliant. They've got a new feature called Blinkist Connect. You can share your account with another person of your choice. Effectively, you get two premium accounts here for the cost of one. Then you can easily share blinks and shortcasts in just one click with each other. And you can add additional comments and thoughts to the recommendations to learn and discuss the titles. To get a seven day free trial and then 25% off a Blinkist annual premium, then just click the link in the description. Right. Back to today's video, which as I said at the start, concerns time travel today. Specifically, a man who claims to be from the year 3036. You will not believe some of the tripe he's coming up with. Here we go. I expected you to be bald though, because in all the pictures I've seen, you're bald. Yeah. I didn't have hair when I first got here. You see, people's hair doesn't grow in the future. Why not? Radiation. Man-made radiation is so concentrated by the 2080s that people don't grow any hair anymore. Right, so you're here from the year 3036, but people stopped growing hair in the 2080s because of the concentration of human radiation. And now that you're here in 2022, your hair is apparently growing back. Right. Men and women alike. So why the mask? I have to wear it. And why is that? My immune system. Everybody in the future has to wear it. Oh, I think he meant to say mask there. And by the way, his immune system is totally shot, but he's playing with a dirty stick with his bare hands. Makes perfect sense. Let's move on to the next part. The average lifespan by the 2080s is around 40 years old for men and 50 years old for women. 40 years old for men and 50 years old for women. Right. Well, something pretty drastic must have happened because the average human lifespan has done nothing but go up. Now, there are a few exceptions, of course, but on the whole, this is the case. That's all because of the radiation. It gets better. It takes time. By 3010, things have started to look up, but it'll always be a problem. The radiation, hey? Oh yeah, this concentrated human radiation. Gotcha. Probably a problem we'll never fix. It doesn't matter. The official report is that Sebastian, the man from 3036, could not be identified by any official documents whatsoever. So you say, where is this report and who is it done by? 
It was verified by officials that his name, or at least the name he's using, has never been in any previous databases. So Sebastian, whatever his surname is, yeah, I'm sure it's really hard to come up with a surname to make Sebastian something that's never been in any records before. Really hard. This guy basically has no records at all. So that's a pretty good trick. So do you plan on staying here? No, I can't go back. The technology's not even here yet, even if I wanted to. Oh, we are so basic here in 2022, aren't we? Just, just an absolute utter disappointment of a civilization. Just backwards. I'll say that loosely. The technology is absolutely here. It's just not readily available like it is at my time. Oh, it is here. Oh, cool. So maybe we aren't that bad. Perhaps you've heard of the Montauk Project or the Philadelphia Experiment. These are all time travel missions funded by the US military. Now, as far as I'm aware, the Philadelphia Experiment was centered around invisibility and the Montauk Project was a fictional creation for the purposes of entertainment. So is time travel normal in the future? Like, does everybody do it? Well, no. Everybody knows that it's real and that it's feasible but it's uh, restricted for military purposes and elite staff only. So that begs the question, how did you slip through? If a resident or a civilian is caught time traveling, uh, it's prohibited. So is the future like they say it's gonna be like flying cars and robots and all that? Yeah. We've got flying cars. They're called F-crafts. We've got robots, primarily working off of AI. We don't have homes like you do now. We have what's called pods. Homes were completely done away with by the 3000s. Pods are, they're like homes, but a lot smaller, airtight, sealed. Pods, hey? All right, well, doesn't sound that great, but what do I know? I'm just a 21st century idiot. They don't affix to the ground. They use magnetic technology. So basically, you flip a switch, it locks. You flip off the switch, it unlocks. And this is done for transportation purposes. So you can move your pod? Oh, that is so cool. Robots are primarily used for labor positions. AI, which you have already started to implement in your time, uh, but we use on a much larger scale. The first story I read about you, you were arrested for stealing food. So tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, that was the first day I got here, actually. I uh, wasn't aware of your customs here yet. You see, in the future, Things like fruit, water, some vegetables. They're free in the marketplaces. We have what's called nourishment centers where basically you're allowed up to three items at no cost. So civilized. Three items, hey? Now this story, I'm not sure about you, but to me this story sounds like a one big elaborate excuse for shoplifting, doesn't it? And fruit, you never have to pay for. So it's just a simple misunderstanding, really. Oh, and water. I still can't get over the fact that you guys pay for water to be bottled up here. Well, it is useful for when there are no clean natural water sources, of course, but yeah, now that you mention it, it is a bit weird. <laughs> Your time makes history in so many ways. After our interview, I found myself pretty amazed. I'm not saying I'm a believer at this point. I mean, anyone can make up a story, but I have to admit it. It's a pretty good story. No, it's not. It's total nonsense. Anyone can come up with a story like that. After a few days went by, I thought of a million more questions I wanted to ask. I found myself wanting more, more information about the supposed future. 
And more importantly, I wanted to push for more proof, something that can point to the truth. I really wanted to know, is this guy from the future or is it all just a story? I'll save you the bother, matey. It's total b Honestly, how anyone can believe this tosh is beyond me. How about we get our guy from 3036, sit him down and ask him who wins the 2022 World Cup and then watch him fluff his lines as he says England or something. <sighs> we never win it. Well, we did once, but we won't again. Well, there we go. Another fascinating Tim Fall Tuesday there. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more from time travel and in more particular, this 3036 guy, because there is more videos. But for now, we're all done and dusted for another Tin Fall Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching. It truly is appreciated. If you enjoyed it today, smash that like button and consider subscribing too. We're on the march to half a million now. Uh, and of course, if you really enjoyed it, then you can share the video too. Just enough time to once again thank Blinkist for sponsoring today. Remember, for a seven day free trial and then 25% off an annual premium, just click the link in the description. I have been Simon Dan. Have yourselves a great week and I'll see you all on Friday where a flat earther doubts a NASA launch. No. See you then. <laughs>